everyone! Welcome back! Today we're going to be learning about an artist. She's a contemporary artist and her name is C.J. Hendry. And we're going to do some really fun um, ink blot paintings today. And so, I know not everybody has paint at home, but if you don't have like regular types of paint, I mean even these little bottle ones would work, do you have house paint left over? Like I know in our house, whenever we finish painting a room, there's typically some paint left over. So that paint would work for today. So if parents, you wanna grab some of that, kids just need a little tiny bit of paint, brushes, art smock would be nice, um, something to protect your table and some paper, obviously. So grab some materials, let's learn about our artist and let's get started. CJ Hendry is a contemporary Australian artist. She is very well known for her large, hyper-realistic drawings. Yep, these are drawings. So she uses pencil and colored pencil to draw these beautiful images that look so real, they look like photos. These giant ones that look like paint are not paint at all. They're colored pencil. These series, called the Rorschach series, are their inspiration for today's work. We're going to be creating our own Rorschach ink blots. All right, to do our ink blot paintings, I like to use the paper horizontally and make a crease first. So fold, crease, and open. And now what we're doing is we're creating a symmetrical painting. So symmetrical means same on both sides. And so whatever we paint on one side, while the paint is still wet, we're gonna fold our paper closed and rub, and it's gonna transfer the paint to the other side, creating a mirror image. Now, we don't have to paint a picture of anything. Like, we're not trying to paint a dog or a face even. We are just having fun with color, and so, like I had mentioned before, house paint's a good thing to use for this. And I usually just like to scoop the paint right off the lid. And so I'm just gonna do a few blobs of paint. And while it's still wet, I'm gonna fold and rub to transfer, just gently. And peel it open. And now you can see that it's jumped from one side to the other. So let's continue. Maybe I could just ooh, squirt some paint on. Like I said in the intro, this could get a little messy. So protecting your surface, protecting your clothes, always a good idea. I'm using an old tablecloth or newspapers. <gasps> ooh, there we go. And so you just keep adding paint until you're satisfied with it. Oh, this one needs to be shook up. If you ever have paint when you squeeze it out, it comes out clear, it means that it needs to be shaken. There we go, and I'm gonna do a second color while we're waiting, whoops. Okay, let's fold and see. I used to do a lot of these when I was little. So another word for these types of paintings is called Rorschach. So Rorschach, ooh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Um, Rorschach is an image that is like this. It's a mirror image. They're paint or ink blots. So usually they're done in black and they're often used um, like in the medical health, mental health side of things where People can try to see what they see in the image and kind of make sense of what your brain is seeing. So you are welcome to make as many Rorschach ink blot prints as you would like to today. And um, I would definitely encourage you to look into C.G. Hendry's work and see if you can get into that Rorschach virtual exhibition tour online. It is such a treat to see. Her website is www.cjhendry.live. If you click on the Rorschach virtual exhibition, you will see this um, Google map like place where you can kind of navigate through. 
So this was an actual exhibition that was set up in New York City earlier in 2019. And people who attended got to wear these Rorschach ink blot socks and they could kind of bounce their way through this white bouncy maze. And as they worked their way through the maze, they got to the part where CJ's artwork was hanging. And it was kind of like in this big warehouse space. So it was very like surreal. You have this fun bouncy area and you get down at the end of the hallway and there's CJ's artwork. So it was fun because it was so interactive for viewers. And I love how they made it digital. Um, if you go to the site, you can click through and check out her artwork. And some of it is holographic even, which is so cool. So enjoy, have fun exploring.